Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create stitch line for your shoe. So we have already dented lines there. So just a damn standard line. So we need to put stitches actually. So let's start from this piece and go to the higher subdivision level there by pressing D or just go to geometry and go to the top level. Now I have 1,67,000. I think it's not enough to get those small details. So let me divide it one more time. Now I have some layers. So let's bake all layer so that I can divide it. Divide. Now I have some more details that are going on. 6,71 something. Okay, let's try. So in order to do that, go to your light box and let's choose a brush, a brush called track. So go to the tracks folder here inside the brush setup, a uh, brush category. And you can see there are a lot of like many track brushes. Choose this track to out of this. Double click it. If you drag here, you can see the pattern of this alpha. This brush just are repeatedly the alpha so let's undo it now I need to change this alpha so I have a different alpha for stitching so go to here alpha and import our alpha here so this alpha I have attached with the project files so you can go ahead and check this or you can download any alpha from internet or you can make your own so let's select this alpha which is stitch alpha PSD it's a Photoshop file then open it now you can see if I hover over this is the alpha and now I have set it to track brush 2 now let's drag it now as you can see I don't have too much needed polygon there so I'm getting this kind of effect there so let's divide it once more uh, maybe this is the final time I'm dividing it okay now as you can see it's giving me uh, getting the stitch details but the side is raised right the alpha, the alpha sides we can see it so in order to fix that go to alpha and go to modify here we will see a option called mid value give 50 there so this is the mid value so i know the outside gray area has 50 value so always when you make it in photoshop give the unwanted rest area or outside area 50 percent gray so that's how you will end up like putting 50 here so that it will not affect anything which is 50 percent gray so now if you drag you will only see the stitches okay now let's go to the stroke and lazy turn on lazy mouse and this will help me to like give us clean stroke so go here and decrease this lazy step so it will make it more smoother and increase the radius a bit so less ready lazy step and increase to lazy radius sorry lazy radius then we can try fine now it's more smooth let's decrease the intensity a little bit and obviously let's take a layer so that we can keep it in a layer separate layer give a name called stitch stitch we can give that stitch okay let's try it um before you do do one more thing which is turn on this dynamic option hold shift and click here so make sure it's white now it's turned off before it was turned on so turn on this what it does if it's on it always the brush size stays the brush size always stays with the object uh, the ratio of the brush size always keeps keeps there if I like go zoom out or something like that, it's always 
with the same size so make sure you turn on that and let's start doing this okay so if you want bigger stitches just turn on just decrease the brush size there and let's do it okay as you can see i'm getting very good stitches there let's rotate a bit i think still it's pretty small let's go for maybe 12 brush size now it's dynamic so it doesn't matter how far i'm looking it now as you can see now it's the intensity is a little bit because the brush size is bigger so let's decrease the intensity so you need to like experimenting things which is working okay now i think it's working okay let's continue doing the thing here okay good we can do a double seam line as well double stitch line so let's art let's try to maintain the offset between those se seams and try to make it seamless here as well oh and you can see one more thing no it's right now it's like acting with my pressure sensitive if i accidentally put some more pressure i get a variation in stitching it shouldn't be like this so let's uh, let's see how to turn of your pressure sensitivity from your brush for that go to brush and you can see a tablet pressure option here go there turn off this global settings as long as it is on i cannot adjust my own settings so let's turn off this then go to size and here you can see here because of this it's gonna change so it should be flat if i don't want any pressure settings for this for the brush size and let's go to G intensity tab here as well. Just click it again. I don't want any intensity variation as my brush stroke or my pressure. So now I don't have any pressure. If I put pressure, it doesn't matter, it will keep the same result. So let's now start doing the same thing. Now you can see now I've changed a little bit. So go back. To the intensity there and obviously the brush size now we are using a different setting so I need to you should you should set it before actually you do it so let's maybe go seven eight okay, maybe maybe like this okay as you can see we are getting very good stitches there so do this wherever you want or wherever you need it i'll do those in between lessons so i'll see you there once i completed those putting those same lines here as well so i'll see you there